Did you know that you can set up a Facebook Messenger chat plugin right on your website? Facebook chat adds a messenger icon to your website, which allows your website visitors to chat with your business through Facebook Messenger. This is a fantastic way to chat with your visitors for free. Conversations started on your website using the chat plugin will be directed to your Facebook Messenger inbox, which allows for easy chat management. To add Facebook chat to your website, you'll need a Facebook page, so make sure you've already created one for your brand. I've already made a Facebook page for my bakery and we'll need to connect the Facebook page to my website. So to set up the chat plugin, we'll start by going to the website.com site builder and choose marketing and SEO on the left. And note that the Facebook Messenger chat plugin is available for certain website.com plans. So we'll go down under communication tools and choose Facebook Messenger chat. So now we need to go and find our Facebook page ID so that we can add it to our website. I've already logged into my Facebook account, so make sure you've done that. And then we'll click on this link to go to our pages. So you'll see all of the pages that are associated with your Facebook account. And right now I only have one page that I've created for my Facebook account. And I'll go and click on that. Now click About. and then page transparency. And here we can see the page ID. So I'll just copy that. And then we'll go back to the site builder and then paste it right here. When sets pasted, click add to site. So make sure that this is selected where it says enable Facebook Messenger chat. And now we need to go ahead and set up the chat plugin on Facebook. So the first thing we're going to do is go back to Facebook and you'll notice that I'm actually still on my Facebook profile and I'm not on the page. So I need to switch to the page. Just click on that profile in the top right and then click switch or click this right here. Depending on your account, it will either say switch or you'll be able to see all your profiles or you can just click right here where it says to switch. So now I've switched to my Facebook page. And now we'll need to go to the settings for the Facebook page. Facebook has a few different settings areas and options, so make sure you're choosing settings after you've switched to your Facebook page. So we can do that right here. Or on the site builder, you can use this to quickly take you to those settings. Now choose privacy. And we want to make sure that where it says allow people and pages to message your page beside messaging, it is turned on. So I don't need to change anything there. Now we're ready to set up the chat plugin. So you can open up the chat plugin setup in the inbox settings by simply clicking the link in the site builder. So we're gonna go back to the site builder and we've included the link right here. So this is the easiest way to get to the chat plugin setup. Now on the top, just click setup. We're going to choose standard Set your default language, so I'll stick with English. Save and continue. I've previously already added a website domain to the chat plugin, but to add a new domain, just click on the box and then enter the URL for your website. So to get that URL, we'll go back to the site builder and you'll see right here the website domain that you wanna add. So all you have to do is click it to copy it We'll paste it there and then choose save and continue. So that's it. We can go ahead and close this box. So Facebook offers a lot of customizations that you can make right here. If we open up automations, you can choose your away hours. You can set automated greetings and welcome messages. So I'll just leave the default right there. And you can also customize the appearance of your chat plugin. So I clicked on that, and now I can change how the chat box will look and how and where it will be displayed on my website. You can also turn on guest chat. I'll just turn that off. I'll choose the icon and text option. You can choose your icon style.
And once you've customized all of that to suit your brand and your business needs, just click Publish. Now we're going to go back to the Site Builder. And I'm going to scroll down and see all of the pages where the chat plugin will appear on. I'm going to keep all of them selected, but you can deselect some of them. And once I've finished, I'm going to click Save and Publish Changes. So I'm going to close this. I'm going to publish my website again just so I can see the live site easily. And I'm going to click to view my website. And you'll see that the chat box now appears on my site. So website visitors can start a chat with me on my website and you'll be able to see the messages in the inbox for your Facebook page. Easily reply and continue the conversation and it's completely free to implement. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more website tips and tutorials and thanks for watching.